Verse 25 says, he broke his thigh out of joint. Verse 26 says, he holds on to him and says, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Hold on, Jacob. Where did blessing come from? Where did that even come from? You in a wrestling match, you don't know who you wrestling against. He has not given you his name. And then you turn around and ask him to bless you after he broke you. He broke you in verse 25. Then you turn around and ask him to bless you in verse 26. How do you have any kind of idea that the person you wrestling got the ability to bless you? Can I give you all my recommendation? I want to recommend that Jacob figured out that the person he's wrestling is more than a mere man based upon how the man broke it. Because if you can read the Bible, the text says he broke him just by a mere touch. And no typical man can break your whole fire just by touching. And Jacob figures, if your touch can break me, you got enough power in your hand to bless me. Anybody in here knows that as long as he got his hands on me, I got a chance to get a blessing. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, this your point. If you believe he can bless you, then you got to hold on to him while you're hurting. Okay, y'all still ain't feeling me. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Just stand right there. He touched his thigh. He broke him. And the person who hurt him, he holds on to him. Still slow. He broke his thigh. And the person who hurt him, he holds on to him. And he understands that even though you hurt me, if I'm going to get a blessing, I'm going to have to hold on to you even while it's hurting. So wherever we go, you're going to have to hold on to me. Even on the job, you're going to have to hold on to me. I know it hurting on the inside, but you're going to have to hold on to me. Grab somebody by the hand and tell them, neighbor, I know you want to let go, but don't let go. I know you're hurting on the inside, but whatever you do, hold on to God. Three people tell him I'm hurting right now, but I'm not going to let go until he bless my soul. I got problems in my life, but I'm not going to let go until he bless me. Whatever I got to do to get this blessing, I'm not letting go.